Hello, it's me, Mr. C from Dividend. In this video, we're going to cover the footers, which are part of the Divi layout kits we've built. These are included in the Unicorn Bundle by Dividend. Let's go and have a look at the footers and see what we've done there for you. Footers are important, as you know, for most websites. Um, generally, there's always connections to social media. Sometimes we have a map which need to go in there. Obviously, phone numbers uh, and quick access, quick navigation to different things. Sometimes we have a subscribe button, phone numbers, things like that. Uh, which are always important to have inside the footer. We've made available like a get in touch section. We also have, as you can see, an email address. Often email addresses that are left in the open, not obfuscated, as they say, uh, those will get crawled and grabbed by spam bots. So WordPress has already made available a special code which you can add to your functions.php file which prevents spam bots from grabbing those email addresses which may be listed on the website. So that's one of the codes that we need to add to, to the functions.php. We will show you how to do that. That's really easy. Uh, we also have a subscribe module. You can see that nice action there. You might have seen it elsewhere on the Divi modules that we've made. That also needs a little code that needs to go in. For the maps, you need to add a API uh, code, which will show you also the link for that. That's part of the Divi modules as well. And then let's see what else there is. There's just uh, custom CSS, which will also show you how to add, which gives you these little animations uh, and those little animations there. And then of course, uh, all of the responsive that goes with it. Let's have a look and see what comes inside of the zip file when you first download the bundle. Uh, you've got the master JSON file to import everything in one go. Yeah, we've also separated them out for you, one to seven. There's also a PNG file, so you can have a quick look uh, at the PNG just to see which of these modules they are, because you can't always remember. That's a fast way to find the right one. Then we've got the code for the functions.php. We'll get back to that. We also have a readme file, which you should read when you get it. Uh, there's also the footer Divi layout Adobe Photoshop file, which allows you to customize everything to your needs. Lastly, we have the icons, uh, which you may see in different locations. And for that, we need to add the font awesome code. I'll show you how to do that. That's quite easy. Let's get started. So let's go to the dashboard. Let's go and import these guys. So Divi, Divi library, then import, import, export, and then choose file. Let's navigate to the JSON file. Let's import. So fast. Amazing. I love it. Okay, so we have one to seven. So mm, I, I think it was number seven that I liked. Um, so I'm just going to copy that text and then I'm going to create a page. Uh, add new. We just want to add a page title. There it is. Use the Divi Builder. We're going to pick a blank template and then add from library. We want to add this one, number seven of seven then we want to click publish and then we can go and take a look at the page before we add all the rest of the stuff that we need uh, as you can see this is all looking pretty strange and for that reason we need to go and add the css and for that you can go to divi uh, divi theme options and then scroll down to the custom css you can add the code directly into here or you can add it to your style.css file via FTP. Let's see. So you want to go next to your zip file. You want to grab the master CSS code, open that up. You can just highlight everything, copy that and then paste it in to the custom CSS section. Save changes. 
that was the first step. The second step to get everything to work nicely is to add the font awesome code, which needs to go under theme options, integration, add code to the head. And we're just going to grab this file. It's in the top of all the CSS files we've given you. You just start with the opening tag there, link href, and then end with anonymous and the closing tag. Just copy that whole string. And then you can go up to uh, Divi theme options integration and paste it, add code to the head of your blog. Paste it in there and then click save changes. That was the second step. Third step is we need to add code to the functions.php file. And I'll show you how to do that right away. So you're just going to go to your zip file, open code for functions.php and then you want to grab all the code in here just copy that and then you want to navigate to your site again and you want to go to appearance editor if you don't see this editor option in the drop down it means one of two things either you've got managed hosting and they block that option from being available or you've got a security plugin which prevents that option from being visible for security reasons if you don't see it there then the, your only option is to do it via ftp so log in via ftp go to your theme your child theme and then find the functions.php file and then update it the way that we're going to do here now so divi child theme uh, and then theme functions click on that and then scroll all the way to the bottom just before the last closing tag you can just paste everything in there uh, you want to make sure that you only have one closing tag and no additional spaces then you can update the file. If you have a problem over there with a bit of space, your website won't load, and then just uh, via FTP, go and remove that, and you should be back to normal. So we've added the three things. We've added the font awesome, we've added the CSS styles, we have added the functions.php code, and then lastly, uh, we need to add the API keys for the Google Maps. So this is under Divi and then theme options. Uh, and then you go down to the Google API key over here. We already have our own API key. You'll notice uh, that there's a question mark over here. If you click on that, it will give you instructions on how to do it. It takes you to Elegant Themes documentation. Then you go and grab your API key with your account. It doesn't take that long to get done. And then you just paste it in there as we've already done it. We can just continue. Uh, so let's go take a look at our page. Uh, then we can see what we got. Control F5. There we go. And this is looking pretty good. It's responsive. Uh, all our icons are there. Everything's styled the way that we need. And this is looking good. So the last thing we probably want to do is change some colors. You've got the footer section here and you've got the footer socket. So you might want to change that color. We're just going to do one example quickly to show you how to do that. And there's two steps to that. You can change it in the CSS, which you've got already, and you can change it inside the module settings. With the footer, there's so many different small components. Uh, I recommend that you always change a color inside your CSS as well as in the module. So let's go to the CSS file and update the colors there. So the master CSS we've got here, You'll notice on the fifth line, it depends on uh, which uh, CSS file you've got, but we've made a reference to all of them. Here you can find the hex color for the red. You're just going to copy that and then go find replace. Yes, we want to replace this color. Yes, I still have the Divi red, I mean the Divi purple over here. And then we're just going to go find next. We're going to click replace one of them and make sure it's okay and then just replace the rest 
so I don't think there's that many references to this red. What that tells me is that it's most likely in all the module settings. So we're going to go Control A, Control C. Let's copy this, and then we're going to go to three theme options again, Divi theme options, to, uh, and then go down to custom CSS. Highlight all of that and replace it, and then click Save. So we've searched and replaced the CSS for the red. Now we're just going to reload this page and see if any of these colors have changed. Uh, it's possible that it wouldn't have changed. As you can see, it hasn't. That means that the settings need to be updated inside of the module itself. So this is easily done. We just hit the edit page button and then we go into each of the module settings to go and replace that purple. So. Uh, we've got a call to action here. You just want to click on all of these modules and just have a quick scan through and see if you can find that red color. If you don't see it anywhere, you can just continue on to the next bit. Uh, we're obviously replacing it with a Divi purple. Let's see there. There was a background, I think, which will come from this over here. Yes, there you go. There's the purple. So we, I mean the red. So we can just replace it with the purple. Uh, there we go, enter and then call to action. I don't think there was any red in there, but let's just go and check anyway. Nothing there, nothing there. Look at that. Okay, so replace that one and then uh, go and look under advanced, see if you can find a reference to the red. Nothing there. And then we want to go to the next one, social media icons, have a quick look through here, nothing there, see over here, no, uh, and then we've got these icons over here, so uh, let's see what they've got here. These ones normally uh, default to the color that comes with the icon, uh, even though it displays red on the front. So you're just going to click on it anyway. Uh, and either you can just save it the way it is right now, if that's the color that you want. Uh, or in this case, we're going to change it to purple um, because we're trying to show you how to do that, change it to a different color. So I'm just going to click on them quickly, change the colors and this one dribble there we go paste it save and the last one linkedin they've got their color as well but we're replacing it with our purple all right and advanced Let's see anything there no okay and then last one would be the copyright see if there's anything yeah nothing i think that was a background that was the red color so save and exit and then let's go and look at this background there it is change the color scroll down quickly check design if there's an other red check advanced and that should wrap us up for this one and then we can update the page and then we can have a final look and now everything should be purple so that's how you change the color so in this uh, footer module we've gone through how to import the json file and all the different components we've installed the font awesome code we've added the script code into the functions.php for the module focus action for the email short codes to protect your emails and then we've showed you how to uh, or where to add the google maps api and we've added css and we've changed colors that wraps it up i'm sure you will have plenty to play with thanks a lot for watching this video all the best ciao